the whole fuzz about <clears throat> stretching? You yoga? know what? I was one of those guys just like you. Um, I didn't believe in it. I, I was like, this is bull. Like a girl thing? Yeah. This is, you know, I'm a, I, so I, I used to be a meathead. Yeah. And I wanted to feel like I wasn't flexible because that means I was, I was nice and yoked. Yeah. You know, when you're flexible, you know, you don't feel as yoked. So, um, but what happened was over a period of time, from my life as a child and, yeah. and growing up, my my body was so tight. And when your body's tight, it gives you it gives your mind the illusion that you're under stress. So when your mind has the illusion it's under stress, it then starts to work like it's in stress mode. Yeah. Therefore, igniting all these different you know endocrine systems like your adrenal glands and whatnot, tricking you to say. Oh, fight or flight, we're in it right now because you're so tight. So I started stretching out years ago and I was wound so tight that this interview that we have right now would be very different. Yeah. It wouldn't be this way. Yeah. It, it, it would be a guy almost looking at you saying, we need to get the fuck off this interview, man, because I'm <laughs> fucking like about to go crazy because yeah. this is too much time yeah. sitting in patience. Yeah. So basically, as I started stretching out, I started loosening up this muscle called your psoas muscle. And that psoas muscle, a lot of people, if you Google it, it's almost like the soul of your body, the psoas muscle. So it almost gives your body and your mind permission to relax. And there's no growth in a stressed mind. The growth comes in a relaxed mind because therefore the thoughts really flood in. Yeah. And so for me, I become more inspired just by simply stretching. And not only that, I'm in the best shape of my life because all those tight muscles that were allowing my, you know, they, they weren't allowing me to run properly. Mm. Every, everything was bound up. So now my gait is longer. You know, even in the gym, I'm stronger because now I'm not all bound up. Everything is opened up to the point where my muscles work, work freely. Yeah. And like a kid, if you ever see a kid run, a kid's not tight. A kid hasn't had stress yet. So they're running very effortlessly. Mm -hmm. And so that's how you want your body to move very effortlessly, yeah. which means your body is flowing like water. So what happens when your body flows like water, your mind does the same thing. Wow. So your thoughts, so it's mostly, a, it was about my body getting better. But what I found was, look, before you go on stage, you're relaxed, you're in control, you also, you know the truth. Because when your adrenal glands are firing off, they send all these different signals. Yeah. Fight or flight, almost like nervous reactions. When you're able to get the truth and you're able to get centered from stretching out, you're able to control the dialogue versus your mind saying, oh my God, we gotta go, we're rushed, yeah. we're rushed. We're not fucking rushed. We're in control. We own the situation. And so what yoga and stretching has done for me it's allowed me to own myself and own my mind versus the world. Like we're in New York City right now.